but there still has to come the time where you elevate on your own to the point where you're overcoming the things that you need to get over in order to actually take it to the next step. So it's like, what, like, what's the next step for you? You know what I'm saying? Like you have to really actually understand where you are right now. How are you navigating through training? That's, that's for one. For most people, they're going to be in training for a while. Like they, they know that they have to train for an extended period of time just so that they can get their mindset where it needs to be. Then once you get your mindset, now you got to deal with your, the emotional aspect of the mindset. So it's like the mindset has different levels to it, like different layers and levels. You have to navigate through all of it. It's not like you can exclude anything. So put it like this. If I was to ask you to, you know, if I said, listen, tomorrow start, do, do the blueprint tomorrow. Like do the blueprint project tomorrow. It's like, what does that even mean? So dissect what the blueprint actually represented for you what did you see me doing the blueprint project was it about the trades that i was taking was it about the format that i used to scale up was it about the fact that i wasn't scared to take the trades what was the climax for you you know what i'm saying so it's like what did you get out of it and now how can you use whatever you got from it and apply it yourself to yourself. That that's the question because that begins the process of what the next step is going to become for you. You know what I'm saying? Otherwise, it's just another like you can go back as far as the one a day challenge that I did last year, like almost two years ago. I did the one a day challenge for like it had to be two hundred and something days. I think it was 200 and, 200 and something days all together. I did that video series for day after day, day after day, that, one a day. And it's like, damn, that's 200 and something videos. So my, like the point that I'm making is that when you're looking at the videos, you still have to understand the dynamic behind what it means. Like, all right, he's showing me something. What am I getting out of it, though? You know what I'm saying? So it's like I got one a day challenge. Then I got um, the trade or die challenge. Then the all or none challenge. Then the spreadsheet project. Then the blueprint. And it's like all of these different video series. And you're able to go back and watch all of them from the beginning. I did the same thing each time. I started with $100 and took it to wherever I took it to. It's not even like I did anything different. Like, how, like, what's the difference between the Blueprint Project and the Trader Dad Challenge? There is no difference. It's just a different name. It was for a different amount of time. But I did the same exact thing in the, the Blueprint Project that I did with the Trader Dad Challenge. Same thing. So, what, like, now at this point, what I'm trying to get everyone to begin to focus more on is working on the mindset aspect of it more while you have the time because there are not trades being presented to you at the time. So use the time when there are no trades available to work on your mindset because you're gonna need that mindset when it comes time to actually embark on going live and going to work. I don't want you guys to go to work without the mindset because i already know what's going to happen if you don't have the mindset you're not going to have the courage to do it you're going to be shook you're going to be scared ask yourself do you want to be scared when the time comes or do you want to actually have skill have confidence have courage not be scared not trade know why you didn't trade trade know why you did trade you understand? Where do you want to be? Like mentally, where do you want to be emotionally? Do you still get nervous when you enter the trade? Are you going to be nervous when you scale up? Are you looking at 
the contract size and, and the money in the account and, and you scared to do it? Oh, I wish I would have withdrew it when I had a chance to. Are you going to do that? You take it from 100 to 1,000, you're going to, in your mind, are you going to be like, man, I want to take it like 500 out. This is all in your mindset because it will distract you from the goal. The goal is to be able to have the skill and execute. That's it.